What's up guys, this is my 3D printed modular prototype boards. This allows me to easily switch in and out different components that I want to test and try or whatever I'm building for all the different projects that I'm building. So if you want a copy of all of STL files, go and look in the description below. But first, what I actually did was created this series of components. Now they range from left, middle, right, and then plate, and then all of the different components. So each one of the different boards has their own version. So you just have to print off exactly which ones you want. Now I printed these in PLA, but if you did ABS, they'd probably be a little bit more flexible. And what I had to do after was just to give them lightly a bit of a sand in some of the tight spots. So it just made it a little bit easier, but depending on how your printer works, that's up to you. So I've just printed off a bunch of the boards here, just the ones I'm gonna test right now and all we have to do is screw down each of the development boards to each of these plates you can use the pcb little washers to make sure that the screws don't contact and here you can see there's a servo motor the breadboard now you can attach it to the actual plate if you want using the adhesive backing or you can just leave it sitting on the top that's up to you now i've also made different versions for things like raspberry pis if there's something that's missing from this list, you can always just leave a comment below. I'll try and make it up and then add it to the Thingiverse files. I also have a list of future boards that I want to make down below, so you can have a look at those as well. Let me know if any of those are in interest to you. Some of them have the same hole overlay for different boards, so make sure you check those first. There might already be one existing. Now all we have to do is just click the plates together that you want and you can start to build whatever prototyping boards that you need. At any stage you can just pull them apart and remove them or add something else in. Maybe your project changed or you're going to test a different component. That's up to you. I find this way it's a lot easier to have these boards sitting around and you don't have loose wires everywhere and stuff flies apart when you have to move it. Now some of the boards can get a little bit sticky trying to push them in, so like I said before, you just give them a light sand around those joints where they actually connect. Now I've designed the system so that wires can travel along the sides and actually fit in, so you can actually tuck them away nice and neat. Now I've designed the breadboard plate so that it allows for the breadboard power supply module, so you can use that in pins one, two, or one and five, depending on what you need to do and that way you can actually power the breadboard at the same time. I've also made the system so that it moves quite easily. You can pick up quite a few boards. See if you can see here, I can pick up six of them just from the center plate. So it's easy to move that project around. I hope you like this project. If you wanna grab those STL files, have a look in the link below. That's about it from me. Make sure you like, subscribe for future project. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.